ROTC stands for Reserve Officer Training Corps. ROTC is how we take students and uh, commission them as officers in the United States Army. Um, it's a, it is a college course, but it's really more than a college course. Uh, we not only teach you about all the things you're going to need to know to, to be an officer in the United States Army, uh, but really we focus fundamentally on organizational leadership. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, to be a successful officer in the United States Army, you have to be a leader. And, and really our mission is to be able to train and educate students in the university environment to be second lieutenants of character in the Army. We teach you about how to be a leader, and we give you opportunities to do that. You know, in ROTC, you have the opportunity to fundamentally practice it in an environment where it's okay to make a mistake. You know, because uh, because once you get into your profession or once you get into the army, the ability to make mistakes is smaller. So we're really not just an education uh, program in terms of your academic education, but it's really a practicum on leadership. So the weekly routine of an Army ROTC cadet at Jefferson University, it, it's actually pretty um, complex. Um, we do uh, physical training or PT Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Depending on what they choose to take your class, um, I, at least I take my class on Wednesdays. So I have a, my class on Wednesdays from 11 to 11.50, and then on Thursdays we have lab, which we do um, land navigation. It, it, whatever they decide to do is just a lab for military science. It benefited me because it helped me develop as a person. I think it improved my maturity, my time management skills, and uh, interpersonal skills such as communication and confidence. Um, physical fitness has greatly improved since I joined ROTC. Um, I put on a more weight than I was and I got stronger. And it, I met a lot of good friends in ROTC and that's huge in college, I think. When I commissioned, I'll be commissioned as a aviation officer in the PA National Guard, so I will become a pilot and fly helicopters. Um, so I plan on serving in the Guard for a few years, I'm not sure how long, but I want to become a state trooper as well and fly helicopters for them. Uh, I definitely think the most valuable takeaway is the experience we'll get once we're officers, meaning no other 22-year-old or 23-year-old will have the leadership experience that a second lieutenant does, being in charge of um, all that equipment and all those people. Um, I wanted to join Army ROTC basically because being around my dad when I was growing up, his job in the garment manufacturing business, uh, he made body armor for like the Navy, the Army, and the Air Force, and I was able to meet a lot of um, officers in the Army, Navy SEALs, so that kind of got me interested, and then once I found out all the benefits of um, scholarships and um, getting like a monthly stipend, and then also the leadership experience that I would receive afterwards kind of pushed me over the edge. Being in ROTC it has um, shown me that any challenge that I face, I can overcome, and it has also taught me a lot of importance in time management and how you use that throughout your day. I wake up at 5.30 in the morning for PT, and then I have an 8 a.m., and then I have uh, a 12 p.m. and a 1 p.m., and throughout the day I have to make time schedules to go to the library to study, to meet with professors, to plan when I'm going to finish a future assignment. Growing up, I wanted to be an Army officer, but I also did want to get a higher education and go to college, so they both went hand in hand, and I'm learning leadership skills and combatant skills that I would never learn anywhere else. Other experiences, more military-based, are schools that you can go to, Airborne, Air Assault, um, Sears School, Northern Warfare School. Uh, I'm fortunate enough this summer to go to Northern Warfare School in Alaska. I'm very excited for it. The most valuable takeaway of ROTC is probably the lifelong learning attribute that you gain. Um, every day you try to learn something new and every day you try to gain new experience that will not only help you lead other people, but help yourself. All right, well, I have a lot of family members who served in the military, so that's something that has inspired me. But especially my grandfather, he was a prisoner of war in World War II in the Philippines. Um, and because he made it back, I'm able to be here today. So he's one of the driving factors in why I decided to join the military. I think at first it might have been hard to balance um, academics and ROTC and extracurriculars, but over time you get used to it. One of the most difficult things that I dealt with was freshman year trying to get up at 5.30 every morning. But at a certain point, it becomes such a habit that you can do it without any issues. 
And then because of that, you learn study habits, you learn time management, and you figure out how to make it balance. Everyone's gonna have different ways to deal with everything, so you really find your own path. I'd say my two biggest influences to join IRTC was my mom and dad. My mom served in the National Guard and my dad in the Air Force, and I just wanted to make myself proud and them proud and follow in their footsteps. No, it's not difficult to balance IRTC with my social and academic life at all because I made a lot of friends in ROTC, so it's nice to see them in class and in lab, and then when I'm apart from ROTC, you have a lot of free time, so you can spend that how you like. And then academically, I take five classes like every other freshman, but one of my classes is ROTC, so I just have to treat that like any other class. Some of the inspirations that made me choose to do ROTC um, here at Shippensburg, um, one is definitely my father. He served in the U.S. Army and retired as a first sergeant um, after serving in the Vietnam War. He definitely did his best to implement, you know, some discipline and some like strict values around the house. You know, make sure you fix your bed, make sure you do this, all in a timely manner. And I think that definitely helped my work ethic and like my mindset to do better. But I think the overall picture that I got from my father was he wanted to provide a better future for my siblings and myself and coming from like a really you know harsh background it was kind of like it was an eye-opener and I think that's why I chose to do ROTC because not only I can do better for myself but for those around me. Um, I think a big takeaway from Shippensburg ROTC that I've learned is um, be adaptable um, in ROTC you don't have the best resources all the time so you got to kind of roll with the punches um, um, whenever something goes wrong. So that's one thing as a second lieutenant I'm going to be able to take away. Um, RTC offers a lot of different opportunities, especially during the summer. Um, I've been sent to Spain to train with their military. I've been to Korea to train with ours. Um, then you also go to Fort Knox for a couple different trainings. And other people have gone to schools like Air Assault, um, Airborne. We have a kid going to Mountain School now. So it offers a lot of extra stuff. So the best way I would tell somebody to prepare is if you're going to come to ROCC, be ready to be part of something that's a service and be part of something that's bigger than yourself. And, and if, you can, if you can come here with kind of that attitude uh, and, that, and that take on what you're here to do, uh, you have the opportunity to be successful. The best advice I can give to a future cadet is just show up to as much as you can. Show up to every single PT. Uh, show up to every event that they um, ask us to volunteer and show up, show up to every lab. If you do that, you'll get on the good side of everyone and it'll just make things run smoothly, very smoothly. Uh, balance your work and having fun. I, I think uh, college is really, very important. You're here for education. You should do really, really well, but you're also here to have a little bit of fun, uh, get some freedom, uh, develop yourself and become who you are in college. My advice would be to fully commit yourself um, once you're here or once you're involved and take advantage of all the opportunities um, from the summer trainings just to volunteering for stuff on the weekends, showing up to everything um, because you don't really know what you have until you fully uh, like immerse yourself into the program. So what advice would I give to a future cadet? Uh, physical fitness is very important uh, but academics comes first. Um, having your priorities and your values set so you don't get in trouble or do the wrong thing because you have to be uh, a good character and uh, an all-around good person. The advice I would give to a future cadet is probably show up to college in good physical shape um, and always push yourself to learn something new every day and keep up with academics. The best advice I'd give to an incoming freshman in the ROTC program is to get ahead of the game. Don't wait to try to improve your physical fitness. Don't wait to try to improve your grades. Try to do all these things at the beginning so you set yourself up for an easy career. Um, I would advise future cadets to not be nervous at all and just stay fully committed because everybody is very accepting and you'll find some awesome people in ROTC. Um, so advice that I would give to a cadet that's possibly looking into joining our program here at Shippensburg um, would be to be mentally open because when you're mentally open, you know, you're, you're willing to work with people that you're not comfortable with. You're 
willing to do things that you know are a little bit out of your comfort zone. And with that, you know that that broadens your personality and experience as a leader, as a student, as a friend. And I think with RTC, it gives you so many opportunities to do that. You form so many friendships with so many different people, and whether it's on the on, like on the field doing a mission or even just studying in the in the library with them, it's it's relationships and bonds that you can never forget. Um, for freshmen coming in, I'd definitely recommend to uh, make sure they don't slack off in their academics. Um, that's a big thing because you are here to have fun, so you want to have fun. Um, if, you are, if you're coming to ROTC, you got a commitment there, but make sure your academics aren't slacking off because that's what's going to hurt you in the end because you don't want to screw yourself over freshman year for job opportunities.